Hello, my name is Rob Greenlee, and I'm going to give you a quick demo of the Podcast Marketplace experience that's now integrated into Windows Phone 7 Mango, which is the latest version of the Windows Phone um, operating system. And let's let's go into the Music and Video Hub, which uh, the Podcast Marketplace currently lives. So you have the Marketplace, which is all the content, all the 25,000 podcasts that are currently available in the Zune software, the Zune Marketplace software, um, on the PC are now available um, directly on the phone. And then you, you have your own podcast collections. These are all the podcasts that you've downloaded to your phone currently in all your subscriptions. But this, if you want to find some new podcasts, you go into the marketplace and you can see the apps, games, music, and podcasts are right here. So you can browse and discover new content right here. Uh, so let's go into the podcast area. So what you see here is all is a list of featured podcasts. Now these are the featured podcasts that are currently featured in the Zune Marketplace software today. You can get it right on your phone. And then also if you scroll over you get the top podcasts. These are the most subscribed podcasts that are currently um, being subscribed to via the Zune software as well. Uh, so it really gives you the the latest and greatest and hottest podcasts that are available um, out there today right, right on your phone. And then also any new podcasts that have been added to the catalog um, also show up in this, uh, this list as well. So and then we also have the full genres of um, all, all the different uh, podcasts, all 25,000 podcasts. So if you go into like the entertainment category, you see all the comedy podcasts are listed right there, um, and audio and video. So you can scroll through and discover, or you can go down here and click this little button at the bottom down here to actually do a search for, for podcasts as well. So you can just type in, you know, the name of a podcast. So let's say I type in uh, TED Talks. T-A-L-K-S. Um, so as you can see in the search results, it comes up. Um, a whole list of different TED Talks podcasts that you can subscribe to. Uh, so let's say I go into the business one and it shows up right there. You can see Bill Gates right there. And let's go into that. And this is the experience that you will see with every podcast that, that are currently on, on the phone itself. So you have a, a list of the most current, current shows from that series. And then your collection view uh, which actually is a list of the podcasts that are currently on your phone. Now, I don't currently have any episodes uh, currently on the phone from this podcast series, um, but let me um, hop out and I'll go to one that I do, and uh, we can see that uh, more clearly if I go out to my um, my collection view, which is, this is the Music and Video Hub again, so you can see here podcasts. So th this is the list of shows that I, I currently subscribe to and ones that have been downloaded directly to the phone. So you have that option as well. So let's go into Vergecast and I'll show you how that works. Um, okay, so you can see at the top up here there's uh, a the most recent episode that's been downloaded to the phone that's available and then down here is like what you saw on that other screen is a marketplace experience which gives you access to all the episodes from the podcast feed that are currently available. Um, so it's it's really easy. So if I don't have this podcast and I, I am wanting to listen to it, I can do it one of two ways. I can click this little icon right here, this little play icon, and this is a podcast that's not been downloaded to the phone, but I can start playing it right away just by clicking that button and it will actually start playing. Uh, so it's a streaming way to get to it, so you don't really have to always download the podcast in order to start listening to it. Um, but I do have a podcast that's, or a, you know, the most recent episode that has been downloaded. And you, you can see if I click on, there's two ways to click here. There, there's one to actually start playing, which is that, that little play button. And then if you want to get the metadata and then play, so let's say I want to see what's in the episode, then I just click the text and it gives me all of the, the show notes and all that kind of stuff right from the, the podcast. So and then at the bottom of the screen, I can go ahead and click play as well. Um, so and that will the start where you playing it right there. Stuff and get all so I can, stuff I've got player controls up here that I can just um, hop out. I can also you know replay over and over again. 
uh, that there's some controls here too as well. So let me hop out and so you've gotten a really good rundown already so uh, let's go into subscribe and unsubscribe. So, so let's say I want to unsubscribe from this podcast. I can do it right here on the phone. Um, so I can unsubscribe and delete all episodes. Uh, so let's say I want to not do that, but it does give you that option to, to do that. But if I happen to want to go into a podcast and find something new, then I can just go in here and let's say I want to listen to some college basketball. So let me go in here. So at the bottom of that series, it says subscribe. So I just can click subscribe. And what that'll do is that'll give me um, this page that I can I can adjust the settings. So let's say I want to only keep one episode, uh, you know, at any given time. So that'd be the 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 most recent episode would be saved on the phone. And then I would just come down here and confirm that. And then here here in a few minutes, uh, it should start downloading the phone because I have a Wi-Fi connection to this phone. So there's a limitation. Uh, through the wireless carriers that if the podcast file itself is larger than um, than 20 megabytes then it has to be downloaded over Wi-Fi but if it's an episode that's less than 20 megabytes in size and you don't really know that then it will um, download directly to, to the phone over 3G so that's that's a little bit of a kind of a data plan kind of kind of issue so you can but it's hard to know right, you know, when you look at an episode, how big it is to know if it's going to download. Really, you can only try um, and, and, and give that a try. So, so I was able to download that. So that should show up in my collection now. So you can see it up there. Uh, so I have an automatic subscription. So I'll always get the latest uh, podcast file from this uh, series right on my phone and then if I scroll over right here I can I can always get the overview and the album art uh, right there from the show so so and then the last thing I wanted to show you is that so let's say I'm listening to one episode of the college basketball podcast and let's say I, I need to pause it and I need to take a phone call or or something like that and uh, that gets me knocked out of the user experience I turn the phone off if I turn the phone back on again you can see at the very top, um, right on, you know, before I've actually logged in, it actually gives me player controls for the latest uh, podcast uh, file that uh, I was listening to before, and I can just click there the and start listening to it. So it's really, really convenient to get access to the stuff that you just paused. Um, so that's the, the podcast experience on Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. I appreciate you listening are watching this this demo video and please uh, let your friends know that this video exists and uh, if they're not currently using podcasts uh, go go check it out and share it with your friends um, so thank you and this is Rob Greenlee